it even when he's on the offensive, but uh, nothing really impressive ha has come from Harrison in this round. Some good little bursts again from Arias. Might seem double up on that jab, wouldn't you? And then feeding the combinations off it. Place to see some snap in the jab. Yeah, that's been lacking right the way through. And Arias is getting into the fight. Well, it's an interesting fight boiling up here involving Audley Harrison and this Brazilian George Arias. Punches landed so far. Harrison just about in front, but only just. And working in the corner there with Arias, by the way, is his wife tonight, Carla, as well as his dad, Santo. That's a new one on me, having the wife in the corner. Yeah, imagine they're paying the wife to give you verbal. I don't know that I would ever <laughs> want to be doing that. But I tell you, there's some happy faces, smiling faces in Aris's corner at the end of the previous round. He's into this now. Harrison not able to dominate in the way he ideally would have wanted to do. He wanted to see this tonight as a kind of comeback concert for him in Britain, really. A revival mission. Maybe it still will be. The fight is not without interest. Good right hand to the body from Harrison. He's digging the shots in, but this fellow's defence really difficult to penetrate. These are good punches coming from Harrison, but they're blocked or at least partially blocked. He's going to have to be a little bit busier to keep this fellow under control. He's going to have to do it in volume. He can't land clean punches, he can't get through the defence. So he's going to have to take the initiative a bit more. It's a decent left uppercut from Arias in there. And Harrison is going to have to match his work rate, and that'll be good for him, really. He can't just stand there pouring out with the jab. He's going to have to do things in the fight here. Arias isn't going to make it easy. It's not going to be a gimme for him. <laughs> 41 wins, 10 defeats. That's Arias' career record. Dominant in South America, but the standard of opposition there with respect to the Brazilian scene is not that hot, really. I mean, Harrison has to put a bit more snap in the jab so that Arias is not allowed to counter it. If he blocks it, it's going to knock him back. Now, that's the kind of punching he needs. He's going to have to throw punches that keep Arias occupied, not allow him to come back with counters. And these little pops with the right southpaw jab are allowing him to do that. That's much better. From Harrison. <laughs> Still single shots all the time though, aren't they? Yeah, but I think he's trying to find the target and I just don't think he's ever going to be able to do that. I would think about doing this on volume, just throw so many punches that this fella wouldn't be allowed to work. <laughs> but I just wonder again if Arias is more suited to the 10 round distance. So with another short little left hand, George Arias is a fighter who's habitually fought with pride and a fair bit of durability through his career. Took somebody like Juan Carlos Gomez, who's still a world-ranked heavyweight, to stop him in four. And he lost twice against a guy called Oscar Angel Gomez. At no other point has he been stopped. I mean, Harrison has been in punching range for a full half minute there and thrown absolutely nothing. Probably nicked around, but not the least bit impressed with him. Yeah. Come on, you're the boss. Six rounds. Not exactly the performance Audley Harrison had in mind so far. It's proving hard work for him. When you walk to him, you're in control. Yeah, yeah. Keep him caught. Six rounds. Is round six, Audley Harrison being given a run for his money here by the much smaller George Arias, who's giving away the best part of three stone here, as well as height and reach. Johnny 
Newcastle who fought him spoke pretty respectfully about Arias earlier this week when we engaged him in a conversation. He said he was he remained competitive all the way through. Yeah, and uh, Johnny was able to box the fight he wanted on the move, but I mean, if Harrison started moving around the ring and popping a long range, when the crowd would really give him some stick when you look at the physical advantages he had, they feel he should be going in there and getting top of this guy and getting him under control. And he can't seem to do it. So obvious with the punches he's throwing, Arya sees them coming and blocks them. But he's just going to have to keep throwing the punches and keep them occupied. And there can be no excuses for Harrison. He told us beforehand he was sharp and he was motivated and felt good mentally going in. And he promised us a performance, but it's, uh, it's not the spectacular that he wanted to put on and probably needed to put on too given the cynical response from the Manchester public to him here I think what's required from Harrison is a bit less power and a bit higher volume of punches he doesn't seem able to hurt this fellow can't get through the defence clean enough to hurt him so he's going to have to be a little bit busier this fellow stealing little spells here and there with these little bursts of punches just doing a bit more isn't he generally I wonder what Frank Warren's thinking, so critical of Audley Harrison, he called him fraudly, didn't he, earlier on in his career, now he's taken him under his wing, given him a chance, says if you can do it for me, I can definitely get that world title opportunity, but that seems a million miles away from where we are right now. Yeah, again, he's not quite putting enough into it, but possibly he is, but he's not going about it properly. He's still trying to wind up bombs, he's trying to hurt this fellow, but what he should be doing is outworking him. Don't worry about hurting him, just do a little bit more work than Arias is doing. This is a little bit better at the moment, but it's not the performance we were hoping from, from Harrison. Blocked those shots from Arias, or most of them, and digs in that left hand. That's his danger punch, Harrison, whipping in a fast, left hand out of that right lead stance that he has again that's not the work rate required from harrison coming up by the way after this what looks a cracking fight uh, Alex Arthur against Nicky Cook, WBO Super Featherweight title, and uh, Alex Arthur, the champion, is with Ed Robinson backstage. Alex, how tough do you see this defence against Nicky Cook? Now, I see this as the hardest fight in my life. You know, I treat every fight like that now, and uh, you know, I'm just going into this fight with in my mind that you know this is going to be the hardest fight in my life. Nicky Cook likes to come forward. Will you meet him in the centre of the ring? Oh yeah, most definitely. Yeah, uh, we're not going to run and we're not going to charge in. You know, just going to box nice and smart. Will you give us a prediction? Um, Alex Arthur win, most definitely. You're definitely taking that belt back to Scotland. There's no doubt about it, definitely. Good luck tonight. Thank you, Eddie. Arthur won his world title in a boardroom. Hasn't actually won a world title fight as yet, but in need to prove tonight he is a, really a world champion against Cook, who looks yeah. in good nick. Round seven. Seventh round of... This one coming up, Audley Harrison in his latest fight here against George Arias, the Brazilian, who's giving him a run for his money, Jim. Yeah, he's coming forward, not a great deal of quality in Arias' punches in the previous round, but he's still a pest. I mean, Arias was throwing some good solid left hands, some good right hands to the body, but really he should be using his physical advantages here and starting to try to bully this guy giving him far too much to say. He's just being outworked there. He just let Arias lay on top of him at close range, land those hooks and an uppercut, and there was nothing coming back from Harrison. And you do wonder why sometimes, don't you? Yeah, there was a full half-minute spell when he was in range and did absolutely nothing, and I don't understand it. He has all the, the advantages, but not using them. The thing you don't allow to happen is Arias to come forward, but he's been allowed to do that. See, he's still trying to dig in the odd hurtful punch, but there's always the danger of being outworked while he's waiting for the opportunity. He should be the one setting the pace. Again, looking to dig in those 
heavy body shots for Darius. Takes those, yeah. Yep, the block. His defense is good, it's pretty tight. They're Brazilian. He lost last time out in a WBA Intercontinental fight against Taras Bedenko on points in Germany. But he is the durable sort, to be fair to Harrison. He's not an easy man this, to, to stop or knock out. Well, as soon as the match was made, I thought, well, bad luck, oddly. We want you to look good, but it's not going to be easy tonight. And it hasn't been. I think the crowd's reception has been at times unfair though, particularly it's, early on. Yeah, it's as though they were waiting for a chance, uh, but because it's happened in the past, he's been booed, they were waiting for the chance, because I mean, it was after the first round they started. So yeah, a bit unkind, a bit unfair. It's a bit better, it puts the punches together. Not with the kind of venom that you'd perhaps want. I'm not, too bothered. I'm not too bothered about Venom, but it's a bit of more volume I want to see. He's winding up shots, which Arias is blocking. This is, I mean, this is better. He's popping him, he's keeping him occupied, not allowing him to do anything. OK, we hoped it would be better, but at least if, he, if he's doing this, he's going to be winning rounds. I mean, yeah. Arias has nicked a couple of rounds on my car. Yeah, definitely. In the last half minute, better from Harrison, busier, throwing out punches like this. This is better. Now he can dominate doing this. Well, this is this is what I've been calling for. Forget the power, because this fellow sees the power shots coming. A bit more volume. That was much better. Not great, but better. Meanwhile, back to the dressing rooms. Nicky Cook, Alex Arthur's opponent, is with Ed. Well, Nicky, you're the underdog tonight. How confident are you? Very confident. Well confident. And the guy there has got half hour left and all. The guy there and I'm going to rip that tie away from him. How are you going to beat Alex Arthur? You see in half hour's time. You're completely confident? Yeah, I'm 100%, 110% on the guy there. He's going to look like a new world champion from tonight. It's such a big night for you. Have you got any nerves? No, no, not at all. Not at all. I'm quite relaxed as I am. It's a bit too relaxed, but we'll see uh, pick it up when we get in there. Thanks, Nicky. Yeah. He does seem confident, doesn't he, Nicky Cook? There are a few shrewd judges who do fancy his chances, but it is his debut at this weight tonight. In this contest so far, well, Arias, it's close, isn't it? Yeah, it has to be said, though, a lot of Arias' punches have been little pops up close. You know, not a great deal of quality. If, I mean, <laughs> I'm using the word quality. Uh, sparingly, but uh, certainly Harrison is winding up the shots and delivering them a little bit better. See these little cuffs? But I suppose if he continues to do it, if he's, if he's continued to allow to do it, he's going to be nicking rounds. But that's better. See the difference in quality? Yeah. And he lets them go. That's brilliant. That's, be that's what Harrison should be doing. Combination punches. He looks a different fighter. That was a low one in there that John Keane, the well-respected referee, did not like. But that's more like it from Harrison. If he's got it there, and that's what makes it so frustrating. And listen to the difference in the reaction from the crowd. That's what I've been calling for. Volume. Don't try to blast this fellow up with one punch at a time. It's not going to happen. Keep him occupied. Put punches together. Just thumping little jolting punches which don't allow him to counter. Just like we saw a couple of seconds ago. But you have to sustain a good uppercut from Arias. Who's landed a couple of them, actually. But that burst from Harrison shows it's there. Why doesn't he do that more? Well, why doesn't he? It's the, you know, it's, it's not the $64,000 question, it's a multi-million question, really, with the amount of money at stake in this division. I mean, again, this is exactly what we want to see. Just short, little jolting punches that stop this fellow on his tracks and don't allow him to counter. But these big, wild, wide and wild swings that he blocks, then he's in a position to come back again. Keep him occupied. Harrison has had some difficulties to deal with in his private life. There was a car crash, he broke his hand, and another ripped a muscle in that. And, of course, there was, very sadly, the death of his brother, Vincent. 